Hey everyone, continuing with the integration series, we have the final two forms, which are 1 over a squared minus x squared and 1 over x squared minus a squared. Again, the integrals are found in your MF26, as I'll drag it out right here. So we have 1 over 2a ln x minus a over x plus a, or 1 over 2a ln a plus x over a minus x. Why is that so? We shall consider the functions of each fraction, right? So if you notice the denominator is e squared minus x squared, and I can kind of represent it as a partial fraction because I can factorize out, right, to obtain a plus x and a minus x. So now I want to split it to partial fractions, so which means I'll get a fraction of a plus x and another fraction of a minus x. So this is how I do partial fractions, right? So what I do is I assume that, okay, a minus x, a plus x. So if I cross multiply here, here that means here I'll times by a minus x. On top here, I'll multiply by a plus x. As such, I have to add a plus sign, right? Because here will be minus x, here will be plus x, so it's a plus sign. They both the same coefficient, so it's 1. Okay? So what do I get at the end? a minus x plus a plus x would give me back 2a. As such, I have to multiply by a 1 over 2a. Alright, and therefore, we will get back 1 over a squared minus x squared, and this will be the expression. So now we integrate, right? Now we integrate this with respect to x, right? So 1 over 2a is a constant, so I can put it out. Now, integrating 1 over a plus x, if you recall, is just simply your logarithm, right? Then 1 over a minus 1 over a minus x, well, the derivative of a minus x is minus 1, therefore the plus sign became a negative sign, and I'll get back ln a minus x, and then I have a plus c outside. Going by the law of logarithms, I'll get back ln a plus x over a minus x plus c. So don't forget, you know, it's still a modular sign, so do watch out for it. It's not long. It's not just a bracket sign, as you can see in the MF26. The same logic is applied for 1 over x squared minus a squared. It's, well, simply 1 over 2a, 1 over x minus a, plus 1 over x plus a. Okay, As to verify it, x plus a, sorry, x plus a, it's a minus sign, x plus a minus x plus a, so it's basically 2a, right? And then if I to integrate it now, so if I integrate with respect to dx, I'll get back again, 1 over 2 is a constant, then I'll get, well, all the coefficients of x in both fractions are 1, so it's simply just ln x minus a minus sine minus sine, ln x plus a plus c, and therefore I'll get back 1 over 2a ln more the sign, well actually I don't have to write the curly the square bracket, it's just simply x minus a over x plus a plus c. As such, we can kind of arrive to a uh, formula again, so I drag this back out. Another general formula. So we have 1 over, this time around, fx square minus a square and 1 over a square minus fx square. Again, I can change this to f prime x. I can change this to f prime x. Therefore, if we were to integrate these two functions, it will give me the same form, right? 1 over 2a ln fx minus a over fx plus a. And similarly, you have to divide by the derivative, so divide by f prime. Similar for this one, 1 over 2a f prime x. And same thing here, well, it should be a modular sign, forget about that, and my plus c. a plus fx over a minus fx plus c. Okay, so this is a general formula to give an example. Let's say I put it up right here. So let me just use this as a reference. So let's say I get 1 over 4x squared minus 6. 
All right. So I want to integrate this. So basically, it's 1 over 2x whole thing square minus root 6 square. So my a equals root 6 and my x, right, equals to 2x. Okay, so I get 1 over 2 root 6 ln 2x minus root 6 over 2x plus root 6. Then I must divide by the, in, by the derivative inside the x which is 2 so this 2 becomes 2 times 2 4 now i mean i don't need to show you the other way around right so i think it's a good place to end here so yeah there we have it the integrals of 1 over fx square minus a square and the integral of 1 over a square minus fx square